Good evening and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby in for Lauren Ashburn. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer is stepping down. The embattled spokesman for President Trump held the job for the first six months of the presidency. Correspondent Mark Irons is at the White House with the details. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. The White House announced today Sarah Huckabee Sanders will be the new press secretary and New York financier Anthony Scaramucci formally takes on the role of White House communications director. At today's press briefing, Scaramucci thanked Sean Spicer for his service and called him a true American patriot. Sean decided that he thought it would be better uh, to go. And for me, as it relates to Sean, it speaks volumes to who he is as a human being, who he is as a team player. Okay, so his attitude is, if Anthony's coming in, let me clear the slate for Anthony. And I do appreciate that about Sean, and I love him for it. Sean Spicer's daily press briefings were lively and sometimes contentious, making them must-see television. In recent weeks, he has taken a more behind-the-scenes role. His former deputy se uh, press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, has largely taken over the briefings, which are often off-camera now. Sanders will now be permanently filling Spicer's shoes. Today, she was asked why Spicer resigned. He understood that the president wanted to uh, bring in and add new people to the team, and Sean felt like it would be best for that uh, team to be able to start uh, with a totally clean slate. Sean Spicer spent several years running communications at the Republican National Committee before helping Trump's campaign. He is also a Catholic and was dealt a blow when Trump excluded him from a group of staffers who got to meet the Pope in May. Spicer has been a guest on our show and even came to our chapel for Ash Wednesday Mass this year. Wyatt. Mark, the off-camera briefings have caused controversy among the White House press corps. Will they continue? That is not clear. I did ask Anthony Scaramucci how involved President Trump will be in White House communications going forward. He told me he will be, quote, as involved as he wants to be. He is the president. Scaramucci says he has Oval Office privileges, meaning access to the president as needed. Correspondent Mark Irons at the White House. Thanks, Mark. 